Abortion rights activist and Ohio celebrate a historic victory. Following Tuesday's vote, the right to abortion will now be enshrined in the state's constitution. Threatening to take my rights away from my children and my grandchildren is a no-go. You cannot do that. We are women. We are strong and powerful. Hear us roar. The victory is significant in this deep red state where Republicans control the state legislature and governorship and have previously passed a law to ban most abortions. Tuesday's result shows abortion remains a losing issue for Republicans ever since the U.S. Supreme Court overturned the national right to an abortion last year. Even in the U.S. South, the issue proved pivotal once again. In Virginia, Democrats won control of both houses of the state legislature after campaigning vigorously against Republican Governor Glenn Youngkin's plan to pass a 15-week ban on abortion. He will now lack the support needed to pass such a measure. And in deep red Kentucky, a state that votes double digits comfort margins for Republicans and Donald Trump, a Democrat, Andy Bashir, won a historic second term for governor. He too campaigned partly on allowing continued access to abortion. Mr. President. These results are good news for U.S. President Joe Biden, battered in recent polling that puts likely rival Donald Trump ahead of him in most swing states. Tuesday's results suggest access to abortion is an issue Democrats can continue to campaign on. It's also a warning to Trump and his Republican rivals running for their party's nomination. Many say they would consider a national ban on abortion if elected president. That may help them with party activists, but could be a drag on their candidacy in a general election. When it comes to the general election next year for the White House and Congress, Abortion may not be sent to stage, it's more likely to be the economy. But emotive issues like abortion can really help drive voters to the polls. And remember, in the US, general elections are generally decided in a few counties, in a few swing states, where demographics like suburban women are key. Nathan King, CGTN, Washington.